What's going on everybody? My name is Genius for you guys part 18 for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also guys, follow me on Twitch at Genius25 as I stream 4 plus days every single week. Link will be in the description below. So guys, in the last episode, we completed the Eagle Tower and obtained our 7th instrument. And in this episode, we're going to be moving on to the next dungeon and collecting a few things while doing it so first order of business we want to head back to the yukuku prairie all the way to mame village we gotta go do the claw mini game and back to the fishing to collect some things so let's get on and get on it let's go baby i'm also want to switch my tunic out to the blue one because considering we got the kahoan sword like i said in the last episode i would love to switch it back to the blue one and get a better defense buff but we got a few things to actually collect inside this crane mini game so we're just gonna be collecting it and getting all that done. We got a few figurines. I think a piece of heart, seashell, and all that. But we're gonna start off. We got this shy guy figurine just chilling there. Let's go. One play, 10 rupees. Let's get it. Let's get it. Buns, we know how to play. We know how to play this. Let's go up here. Oh, that's looking good. Let's keep going. That's money. Money. Let's get it, baby. That should be a grab. If this isn't a grab, I don't know what it is. Look at that. Mwah. Pick him up. Don't you dare drop the shy guy. Oh, it looks like it's gonna drop him. No, we got him in there. Yes, we got a nice tight grip on him. Give me that shy guy. We're also going to keep playing here. Try to grab that chamber stone right there. Because we're going to need them in order to do some different things later. So let's try to get that chamber stone right here. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. We'll see. We'll see. But these things are tough. The only problem with it is timing this right. So we're actually going to move it right here. Come on. Get it. Get it. Come on. Close, close, close. Close it up. <gasps> oh, that might. That might get I think we got it. Come on, stay in there. Stay in there, big dog. Let's go. Got the chamber stone on the first try. I thought that was going to take me a couple tries, but I'll take that challenge again. Now, nah, we're good right now. We got to do something else real quick. So, we're going to actually grab all of our rewards right here. Give me that shot guy figurine. Look at him. You got the shot guy figure. Just don't ask what's underneath the mask. Woo. Oh, what is underneath that mask? Oh, I asked. I didn't mean it. <laughs> but there we go. We got the chamber stone. We're going to be using those later. And right now, we're going to be heading out here, placing that figurine where it needs to go, and then heading back to this game because we got a few more things we need to collect. So we're just going to use our Pegasus boots, run all the way up here. Ew! Why we hit that wall? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. We're going to head back inside this building. I believe it goes somewhere in here. I'm correct. Does this go right here? Check. Is this stand for something? It says Shaga. Yes, it does go here. Place Shaga figurine. Heck yeah, we want to place it. Look at this place. It's all decked out with all of our figurines now. So now we're actually going to want to head back down here. Back to the claw minigame because we got a few more things that we just want to collect. Just real quick. Just real quick. So we're going to head back here. Hopefully we can keep hitting these on first try. New items should be in here. Look at that. Look what we got chilling here. Look at that figurine. A giant piranha plant figurine. <laughs> oh my god, that thing's enormous. Hopefully we can get this one. Yeah, that thing's a house. It's a legit a house. So we're going to time this one just right. We're going now. We're going now. Oh, we knocked it over. We knocked it over. Can we still grab it like this? Oh, my God. Look at this thing. We knocked it over. I didn't think we could knock it over. I thought we were just going to try to grab it on the head. But we're going to try this again and just try to get that head part right there. Come on, we got this. We got this. <laughs> Yo, that was too funny. Challenge again? Heck yeah, we want to challenge again. We ripped that thing up. So we're going to want to move this up like right there. That's looking good. All the way over, right on its head area. Oh, come on. That's your grab. That's money. Money in the bank. Grab him. Yeah, baby. Oh, we, that's a good one. Got a tight head grip on him. Yeah, dude. That's the money grab right there. There's no way he's falling out. Look how big this thing is. He's enormous. <laughs> We got it. We got it. Challenge again. No, but we're going to grab. Wait a minute. Look at that purple rupee. Why does it look so weird? I guess it's just the way it was laying, but we're going to grab this figurine, walk in, walk back, in, walk out, walk back in and get new items that appear because every time you get something, new items will actually go on the shelves. So walk in, walk back or walk out, walk back in once again. And look what's there. We got ourselves a piece of heart chilling there. It's a trendy game. We got this. Dude, we are on fire. Actually doing good with this. Let's keep it going. Good luck. We're going to do a little jot up here. Line this up in the middle. We just gotta wait. Usually I like to do it when it hits the left side. It's like I usually like to go now. Go all the way to that right side. Bang, right here. Come on, get it. Get it. Pick it up. Oh, ooh, that's close. That's a close call. Come on, stick with it. Stay on, stay on. Stay on, let's go. Dude, our grabs are on. There's only one more thing that I wanna grab real quick. We're gonna pick up this piece of heart. 
walk out again, walk back in, have that item respawn, which would be nice. And then we're going to go play the fishing mini game that we haven't played since, like, the first or second episode of this. But, dude, I can't wait because we're going to be catching some big fish and everything. Let's go. We got a piece of heart. Let's get it. We are racking the stuff up today. Racking everything up. Two figurines, a piece of heart already, a chamber stone. And what are we coming back here for? You guys guessed it. A seashell. Let's get it. Even our sensor went off acting like we don't know that it's here. <laughs> we got this. Okay, same ordeal. Actually, we're going to take this here, right here. And we're just going to wait. And we're going to go right now. Come on, get in there. Squeeze it. Oh, come on, stay in there. <gasps> oh, oh my god. No, stay on there. Yes, oh my god. Yes, guys. We crushed this claw minigame today. We only had one mistake, and that was because the piranha plant. We had to knock it over first. There's no way you're getting that thing first try. Unless you're, like, super, super lucky. But we crushed it today, spending probably 60 rupees for all this. Like, what a steal. What a steal. But now that we got that, we're going to go place the piranha plant figurine where it needs to go. And you know where it's going. It's going in our house where we woke up at. Not even our house. Marin's house. So we're going to actually place it right over here. Look how big this thing is, guys. It's hilarious. This is a stand for something. It says piranha plant. Place a piranha plant figure here. Yeah, yeah. Look at that thing. It's enormous. <laughs> but now with all that done with the claw machine, we're actually going to make our way over to the fishing minigame, like I said. So we're going to need some rupees here. We got plenty of them. We got like 160. I actually got a couple beforehand. How about some fishing, little buddy? I'll only charge you 10 rupees. Heck yeah, let's do it. What kind of lure are you going with? We're going to go with the middle weight lure. This is the last lure we got last time. Yeah, we know how to fish and all that. Yeah, I love this guy's mustache. Look at that. It's like a mustache beard looking thing. <laughs> like, it's hilarious. <laughs> okay, we're going to get on fishing now. Let's get it. Let's get it. And we're just chilling here. We actually want to wait for a different fish to pop up, which will be the cheap, cheap fish. So we're just going to wait for him and then catch him. So guys, after catching a few fish, then backing out and repaying the rupees, we got my boy, the blooper, to spawn. So we will actually want to catch a cheap cheap, a blooper, and this big giant fish that we cannot get without the heavyweight lure. So we're going to cast out here with our middleweight lure. Try to get past all these fish and get this guy right here. Come on, bloop. Take the bait. I know you want it. Take the bait, big dog. Oh, we got it. He got it. This dude's nuts. Get in here, buddy. He's tensing up the line. Come on, we want him. We got to keep mashing A here. Let him go. Let him tense out that line. Come on, buddy. Blooper, get in here. <laughs> yo, this guy's putting up a fight, yo. Keep mashing this A button. Getting him closer and closer with every single reel in we got. So every time he tenses out, you don't want to keep reeling in because you will actually lose him. He'll break the line and all that, which is pretty crazy. Yo, get in here, big dog. This dude's nuts. Get in here, blooper! I want him so bad. Yes, we got him! <laughs> Look at him, he's so funny. <laughs> oh my lord. You caught a blooper. Usually it's the other way around. <laughs> oh, a 42.07 incher. It's a big one. Way to reel him in. Let me fish around in my wild for a nice roar. He, how's, how's 55 rupees sound? Oh, let's go. A blooper, huh? Good one. I'll hook you up with a new lure for that. Let's go. We got ourselves the heavyweight lure, which is awesome. We can catch the biggest fish in the pond now. So now all that we want to catch is the cheap cheap and the giant fish of the pond. So let's get it. We got to wait for them to spawn. And then he says, this is the first time you landed one this size, huh? Let's mark it with a secret seashell. Let's go. There's another secret seashell. We're almost done collecting them all, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. So what other fish we got in this pond? We're going to switch to the heavyweight lure right now. See if that big fish will come out. Come here, heavyweight lore. And no, he does not. And we just cast it this. So we're going to have to wait for him to spawn. <laughs> so guys, after waiting just a little bit, the big fish actually spawn. Look at him all the way down there. So we're going to cast out with our heavyweight lore. Let this sink to the bottom and try to get this bad boy. Look at him. He's the big mambo mambo of the pond. Big mamma jamma. Come here, buddy. Take the bait. You're the only one who needs this lore. Take it. I'm right on you. I'm right on you. I know you want it. I know you want it. Dude, I know you want this. It has your name written on it, your favorite. Put some little little corn niblets on it if you want it. Take the bait already. What are you doing? He's just chilling there. Yes, here he goes. Look at him. Come on, grab that. I want to catch him so bad. Let's go. Let's get him. He's swimming back. What you want? Get over here. Get over here. 
And then swim back. Dude, this thing's a monster. It's a big tuna fish. <laughs> Come on, I want him so bad. Come on! Look at this thing. It's huge. Oh, we almost got him, actually. Get up here. Get up here, big dog. Woo! Let's go. Caught the monster of the pond. Let's get it. Wow, lots of people say they call it Old Baron, but you actually did it. Oh, 56.56 inches. It's a big one. Way to reel him in. Well, blow me down. You deserve at least 100 rubies for that. Hmm, is there something caught in Old Baron's mouth? Woo! Getting ourselves another chamber stone from Old Baron, the big fish in the pond. That leaves us with one more fish to catch. That is the cheap sheep. So let's get it. We're going to change the lures to the middleweight lure and wait for that thing to come out here. Finally, guys, the cheap cheap has spawned. It took actually a good amount, but he's just chilling on the top. We're looking to catch him right now. Come here, cheap cheap. It's your turn to be caught. I'm just going to float my lure right over near him. There he goes. Get it, buddy. It's all yours. It's all yours. This is the last fish that we need to catch in this pond. So when he goes back, you do not want to be tapping A or when he jumps up. So just let go. Let him do his thing. Wear him out. Make him tired and all that. Look at him jumping up. That's fine by me. You keep doing your thing, buddy. We'll keep doing ours. Go ahead, swim back. Get up here. Ah, come on. Oh, no. Get up here. The line is real tense. No, he's jumping up again. Get up here. Yes, let's go. We finally got him. Oh, my God. It took him so long to spawn. Oh, my God. You call her cheap, cheap. Since when did they swim in these waters? Wow, a 31.03 inch fish. That's a lunker. Quite a catch. That one will only 40 rupees. Hmm, is there something caught inside the Cheap Cheap's mouth? Give me that. We get ourselves a nice secret seashell out of his mouth. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. I'm hyped for that. Want to keep fishing? Now nah, we are good right now. Thank you so much, though. We're good. We got to move on to bigger and better things. So the next order of business that I want to do on this map is actually bring out Mambo's Mambo's song. We're going to fast travel over to... What's it called again? His pond, right? Monbo's pond. Because we're going to head back to the color dungeon and actually switch our tunic to blue so we get that defense buff instead of that attack buff. I think that'll be better for us. Plus, I want to show it off in this playthrough considering I want to show off everything and we're doing 100%. So we're just going to lift this here. Start running with our Pegasus boots. You guys know the deal. Headed towards the graveyard, which is just down this way. And we can actually like make it to the, the place to switch it quick by just heading in the stairs. And we have that fast travel point right to the boss, which is awesome. So as we step in here, we can just hit this little blue little warp point right here. Let me in it. Bang, do a little spinny spinny float to the next point. But dude, that fishing minigame is so much fun. I have so much fun playing it. I don't know why. But we make our way back to the end to this great little fairy over here. Welcome, Link. I will give you the power of color. If you want defense, choose blue. If you want no advantage, choose green. Which power do you want? We're going to switch over to that blue. Are you, sure we, are you sure we want the blue mail? Yes, we want it. As you wish. So shall it be. Let's go. Look how awesome we are going to look now. Rocking this blue tunic. It's going to make us look different. Make us look a little cooler. The blue one's actually more my favorite. But since we got the colon sword, we can finally use it. Now we got the blue one. Look at us. I will now take you outside. Great. Cool. Awesome. Let's get it. We're now actually going to use Mambo's Mambo song once again to actually spawn to Dompe's little shack area. Because we're going to be heading up this way, making our way to the last dungeon for our last instrument. So let's get it. Because how many seashells do we have? I actually want to check right now. How many seashells are we rocking right now? 47. We are close to getting them all. Oh, my Lord. But look how sick we look in our blue tunic now. Oh, and we sniped that dude with the power of our Kaholan sword. When you have full health, you can actually just start throwing it and all that. But what we want to do is actually make our way all the way back towards this way. We actually want to head to a place where we've been before, just the opposite way this time. So when we were going up to the Eagle Tower, we headed right. This time we want to head left. So we're just going to make our way back up through this cave, which is just awesome. Just awesome and dandy. But I feel like we've been in this cave like 50 times already for some reason. It's just, I don't even know why, but we're going to push this right here. I'm going to run this way, slap that, open this way up, make our way over here. I'm actually going to switch out to our boomerang. Actually, or hookshot. We're going to go hookshot, actually, because I think we're going to need the hookshot. Dude, I love the power beam it throws out when you have full health. Like, it just comes in so much handy. Like, it's awesome. Let's go. What you want, fools? What you want? Get out of here. Break all this open. Get all that. And now we are jamming. We are cooking with oil, ladies and gentlemen. But if we head this way, we're actually going to make our way all the way up here. Back towards this way. Dude, the Pegasus boots are so much fun to run with, too. Oh, we landed in water, but it looks better when we're swimming with a blue tunic. It just matches the water and everything. Looks all cool. What you want, fool? Get out of here. We're going to whoop on you real quick and start making our way up towards this way. 
It's just dandy, dandy candy. Oh! We lost our power right here. But if we bring out our hookshot, we can actually hookshot across this bridge. And as we make our way here, we see Marion just chilling here. Somebody, help! How'd she get stuck here? <laughs> hey, Link! Some monster put me up here. What should I do? I'm afraid of heights. All right, we got you, girl. Don't worry. We're just gonna swoop across here. Yeet. Spider-Man that and pick up Marin. Yo! That was a surprise! Link, thank you! Dot, dot, dot. Say, Link. Uh, I don't know how to say this, but... Ooh, what's she gonna do? Then we got our boy Taryn over here. Marin! <laughs> it's bootlegged Mario out here. Huh? Taryn? Uh, never mind. I, I gotta go. Ooh, daddy's calling her. Ooh, Link was about to get some action, baby. Come on. <laughs> Link's like, what? Where are you going? <laughs> that cracks me up. But Marin actually hops down and starts following her father back to wherever they want to go. And we can actually start making our way west on to the next dungeon. But Mr. Hoot Hoot Owl over here, my boy, comes over here, gives us some advice. Hoot, that girl sang her song in front of the egg. Her Ballad of the Windfish is a song of awakening. Did she actually intend to wake the windfish? The next siren instrument is West. Play your melody so the unliving stones might hear. Show your courage. The windfish waits for you. Hoot. Let's go. So he actually gives us a hint what we have to do. We have to play our song for the unliving stones. So you guys remember we got that little rock over there. And oh, we're not the rock. What was it called? What did we get? But we're going to head down here. Oh, we got that song from the frog. That's what we got to make unliving things better. But why did I head this way? Is this the way I want to head? No, this is not the way I want to head. Can I head back up here? And actually make her way back up this thing? I don't think I can. Oh, yeah, I can. I can head up the stair. No, I cannot. That's bogus. Or can I head inside this little thing? This. No, we cannot. We have to head all the way back around. That is bogus. That is such bogus, man. But we're going to head back around. I made a wrong turn and make our way back here. After making that wrong turn, we are finally back here. If we actually make our way over here, hit this little bush, a secret path will come out. I can't believe we went down there and we weren't able to get up. That's so annoying. But we can actually make our way towards this way. And we can tell that there is a bombable wall right here. What you want, fool? Get out of here. Let me finish this dude off first. But there's a bombable wall right here. So we're going to pull out our bombs. Just drop it real quick. Collect these rupees and wait for them to explode. I'm going to pull out our boomerang right now. Boomerang's awesome. Let's go. But we can head down inside here and make our way right this way. And what's over here? A piece of heart that we always see every time we come in here, but we can never get. But this is the one that we see all the time come through that cave that I was talking about that we went like a million times. But that gives us our 17th heart. We are almost maxed out of hearts. We need three more. Plus, we have a dungeon, which we will get another one off of. But if we hop down here, we can actually make our way down through this tunnel and back this way. Oh, we need a hook shot. Let's pull out our hook shot once again. Ladies and gentlemen, a hook shot all the way over here. Start making our way this way. What you want, fool? Get out of here. Oh, oh, dude, really the bat hit us. Now we don't have our little special magical power anymore. But we only take a quarter heart from them, them now, considering we have a defense buff. But if we actually make our way down here, we can actually keep running over here. What you fools want? What you want? Oh, God, we got all these rocks. But if you hold your shield, you can actually block them when they come near you. So, hey, bink, get off me. Get off me. What you want? Oh, this one's, oh that one did not hit us. But our a seashell sensor actually goes off. And if you come over here, you can actually lift up this rock. And it's just chilling right here for us. Let's get it. Let's get it. How many seashells do we have now? Is that 49 or 48? What do we got? 48. We need two more seashells in order to complete every single secret seashell. But we're going to pick up this thing. Grab 50 rupees. And this rock below us we actually want to go pick up. Because what's downside of it? We got a secret little passageway leading to our last upgrade. I believe it's our last one for the little devil, dude. The little devil's awesome. Always giving us upgrades to hold more items. But use your magic power to light the little pot. Get the purple flame going. And he comes out playing this rad tune. Hey, kid, you woke me from my fine nap. Thanks a lot. But now I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? Fine, I'll let you have more arrows. Hee <laughs> hee. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's get it. Zap. Yo, that's such cool little animation. Zaps us. Now we can hold more arrows. Hee, he, you deserve it. Now look at all that junk you have to carry. Ha, take care. See you again. Thank you, Mr. Little Devil. He thinks it's a bad thing, but we always, we know it's a good thing because we can carry more arrows now, which is awesome. I'm going to pull back out my boomerang here and get whooping on this fool. What you want? What you want? Actually, I want to go down here, don't I? This is the way I want to go? No, I do not want to go that way. I actually want to keep heading this way. Yo, get out of here, little caterpillar, dude. And actually, I want to head down this way right here. So we... Because if, if we make our way this way, we can actually run all the way left over here and grab ourselves another piece of heart. Let's get it racking everything up, guys. 
racking everything up. And I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. If you are so far, dude, drop a like, dude. It means a lot, guys. It really does. But if we make our way this way, we got little ghost little go goblin guy over here. Pull out our bombs. Got another bomb ball wall right here. We're gonna pick up this rupee while waiting for that and switch back to our boomerang. Once that ball wall blows up, we can actually make our way inside of it and continue on. Let's go, let's go. Watch out for these cracked floors over here. But we got this little fire flame. You cannot get through it with just a regular shield. But since we have the mirror shield, we can reflect stuff and push it back. Oh! I let go a little too soon. We actually want to do a sidewalk over here this way. And now we can actually make our way up these stairs. Let's go, dude. Yeah, but the mirror shield is awesome. You can reflect stuff now and all that. But if we lift this up, we can actually get a new spawn point right over here. I believe that's the last one we need. Maybe one more after that, but we'll see. But we can keep grinding here, and our seashell sensor will go off. And so we're going to have to find this seashell right here. This will be our 49 seashell. We bring out our shovel and dig right in the between all these rocks right here. 49 seashells, one left, guys. We almost collected them all. Let's go. I love doing, like, collectible challenges all, all this. I just get, like, a sense of accomplishment when I find everything. <laughs> it's awesome. But we can get whooping on that moblin right there and actually make our way all the way over here. And look at this. We got these new little enemies. We got, like, pterodactyl birds. They look cool. But we're going to whoop on them and actually pull out our song with the frog because as you guys remember mr owl said play the song to like unlive to the unliving stones and all that so if we play it here it's gonna wake up this stone and make it a living creature so what we actually want to do is since he has a stone head what we'll breaks stone you guys know what we got to get out the crack kind of gives us a hint we got to get out our bombs and start whooping on them so we're actually going to bring out our bomb and our bow and arrow and hit them at the same time so we can shoot these at them whoop bam break open that break open that hit it one more time and it breaks open completely. Now we can switch back to our normal items that we like to have. And get whooping on this fool. Get out of here. Doing our rock feather jump swings. What you want? Little. What's this guy called? I don't even know what he's called. Little snake crocodile looking thing. What you want fool? But we whooping out here. What you want fool? Get jumping dodging. Get out of here. And there we go. Just stab him up a couple times. He will die and open up the path to our final dungeon. That we can get our final instrument in. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to be taking on the last dungeon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.